<laughs> Quarry! Let us continue where we left off. Let's not waste time. And then we're on chapter seven. If you didn't see the last chapter, <laughs> we had the we had the cloud save. We had to reload our cloud save. A bitch got killed in that chapter. Gruesomely too. All right. We also had the um, appearance of a, a, a character from earlier. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. He's, he's, they're both alive. Max. Hey. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. Why are you so aggressive? was that? What have you done to Max? Shut up. You can't just- Shut up! This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. Well, excuse me! Name. I should say E shit. I should. Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brinley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. Fine. We ain't got no leverage, bro. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh. Why are we going to Hackett's Quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp. And we're broke. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sheriff. Hackett. Wait, Hackett? Like, 
Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. Daddy! You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? His lips. Do you understand? Ugly as shit. Uh, he could he could be more descriptive and just tell us what's going on. He got he got Max though. He can't really afford to. Please, he just stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Max got bit, man. I know he got bit, bro. Why does nobody around here talk? Let's go. Did he, did he unhandcuff me? Hey. Oh, he re-handcuffed hey, me. You, asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Screaming at him is not gonna help. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. I, I don't know. Laura. Yeah. Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone. And now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? I'm not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Oh my god. I wasn't aware we needed your permission, Detective Dick Whippet. <laughs> yeah, it's a free country, Officer Oat. For brains. Out of here. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah, hold on. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all based off of the tarot card we had. Which one did we get last time? Was it this one? This usually tells you what choice to make. <laughs> so I'm trying to butter them up. I probably, I probably should have said yes, sir, on that last thing, but. Right there is telling me to drug him the way he drugged us earlier. Um, so I guess we got to play our cars right and comply if we want to be able to get to that point. <laughs> 
So each one of these choices along the way have told us exactly kind of what we wanted to do. Like right here. And there's a little message that comes with it. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to be compliant, but um, <clears throat> we're going to get ours. Through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey. Hey. What's Get up? the fuck off. Come on. Move. Good boy. Hey. Stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making up worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. Okay. Okay. And Max got attacked. I think, Laura, I think there's got to be something in here you can use. All right, escape plan. So Max got attacked earlier. And he doesn't look like he's been attacked now. Ew. Spoon? You can take whatever the hell you can get, man. Grab that, 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 uh, heroin spoon over there. Grab the damn... Sis. That's our way out. Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. The spoon. That's why it's bent, maybe? Because somebody was trying to. Huh? Oh. These cars are just so randomly, like, placed. Can we grab the spoon now? Take this. Take the shit. <laughs> that could work. I see. Now, some poor soul probably didn't even get to do that because when she went, do you? Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. Yeah. <laughs> if you get the spoon first, it don't work. If you won't take it, you got to touch that and then get the spoon. Order of operations in this bitch. wasn't done yet. There was something else in there. Watch it, man. I bruise easily. Give me a break. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Sure. Second you get out. We have a, we, okay. We have a plan. Wait, wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Fuck! That didn't matter. <laughs> My answer didn't matter. They didn't give me, I mean, the two options hey, there. you can't just leave us in here. Hey! Come back! Fuck! Son of a binky bucky.
How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and... I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Yo ass got bit, bro. By one of the things that was down there in that damn basement. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in Camp Leader... Camp Leader, Mr. Mr. H. Hackett ...of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Were we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Well, I guess Sheriff Hackett's not exactly acting like a typical kidnapper, but... He's not acting like a typical cop, either. Well, how do you know how kidnappers act? I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Stop. Come on, lighten up. Yeah, easy for you to say. What? Can't you ever accept what's happening? Sometimes shit is just shit. And not everything's some challenge for you to overcome. Uh, actually, yeah, it is. First, we're gonna get the hell out of this mess and enjoy the rest of summer, and then college. College! Freaking crush it at orientation. We gotta get all our classes down. Laura. Did you look at all the options, by the way? I mean, it's a lot easier for me because I just need the classes that'll let me major in veterinary sciences. Laura. You're undecided, so you have to make sure you get a really good balance of Laura. everything. Stop. Why? I... I didn't get in. What? I got rejected from the wait list. Why didn't you tell me? I... I was embarrassed. Wait... Your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max! What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, Max. This... This really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Man, we're trying to get the fuck out of the jail cell! This is not time for this! This is a flashback, though. All right, we also need to figure out how she loses an eye, but... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do.
Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into that... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Uh-huh. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Werewolves. And I said it earlier. Yeah? What if... Uh... Okay. No. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance it was a werewolf. Are you out of your... Goddamn mine? Oh! Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Ryan, right? Yeah? You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Let him know. Whatever. Shut your motherfucking ass up, Ryan. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? He's got a whole poem about it. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, and you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. This is a good chapter. I like this. I like it. Y'all like the goddamn video. The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again 
and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. Well, you keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when... I turn into a nasty-ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... See? See, there it is. That's what I'm telling you. He won't let us go, but we'll be able to... Escape? We're working on it. We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. That's probably that's probably the one we're gonna do with the the syringe to the neck. You know what I'm saying? From the vision. <laughs> okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch in mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways. Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know. I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I think we should try. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd be dead by now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. All right, we have our plan. Hey, hey, T-Money. Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hey, I'm T-Money. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. I feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, T-Money, lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Mm. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! Max, you fucking up the plane. You know what's going on? We know Max is a werewolf! Ah! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. Uh, they didn't go how I, how I thought I said. Take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off. Get back. Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him. Yeah. Come here. Get off. 
of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. T, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. I'm not doing it. Down to 20. Why would I, why would I, I mean, that's obviously the camp counselor leader. I'm not, I mean, come on. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you, it's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry, I'll be back at dawn. You're really gonna leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. It's our chance to get away, I guess. He's not even gonna be in here. We gotta figure out how to get off the handcuffs, though. Max, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Tell me what's going on? She lost her eye. He told your ass to stay back. Get the music off. See? See? Mm -mm. Nope. 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 Get out of here. I don't think that's how I would respond. I'll be rolling all over the floor. God damn, oh shit, my one shit is one shit now. So much for depth perception. She's taking out too well. Couldn't be me, I'm telling you. I'd be so dramatic, bro. One eye. Oh, Lord. How do we end up back in the cell? She just walked in there and sat down? That bastard cop's hiding. Oh, okay. Get you too? 
They didn't get you. You had your volume was down too low. They, they, uh, honestly, they, they, did, did they get you? All right, keep your eyes peeled. You only got one of them bitches. They gonna chase me through the facility? What are you hiding, Travis? Season the assist letter. So the podcast was investigating Hackett's quarry. And they sent them a cease and desist letter. That's basically what that says. I thought I heard other feet in here. Hello? <laughs> you plan to call the cops? Uh, you gonna call the cops? much a hint as a slap in the face. Y'all be surprised at the number of passwords that are actually the word password or one, two, three, four. Ann Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. Last seen five miles north of Hackett's Quarry. Is there anything else? Password was his birthday. Uh, let's keep exploring. Hopefully that we're not locked out of this room. Sometimes when you leave an area, the game basically locks you out. I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping or 
I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. Oh, there's a whole a whole nother floor. I'm, my thing is I'm not going to go back to the cell yet because I don't feel like I found anything helpful yet. <sighs> Fuck. I'm going to need to rest. I mean, they, they, got, they got us looking around because I guess there's some shit we could find. Or maybe it's just evidence or something. We'll see. Mama's boy. Fifty six. That means he was born in nineteen sixty five. All right, so we that still that just gives us the year. We still need the actual month and day. Music once again adding to the ambiance of the experience. Whoever was wearing this cap be doing too well. Birthday Bears, July 7th. July 7th. Ain't no way me and bro got the same birthday. You crazy bitch. That's crazy. All right, we can go back and put that on the computer, I guess, now that we have it. Must be what he used to knock me out. I heard that. I can hide this in my cell. Not done yet. Hold up. In here. So that's a syringe that we're thinking was from this. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> So the the vision, this is okay. So we're gonna get his keys. The vision, I thought it was in like sequence. It jumps around, so it showed us in the locker and then it showed us stabbing him. It didn't show it like the actual in the actual real sequence, the full sequence. All right, bet. Here we go. That's our answer right there. We got the we got the code to the computer. The last seven. I mean, I don't know if if that's going to matter. We still have, I haven't got an indicator about, I did get a couple path update indicators. That's when you know you, rate them, you made the real decision when that shit comes up. I got the brightness on 80. I ain't turning it up again. Probably didn't even need to do this. We could just go back to our cell. Fuck 
Yeah. hikers at all but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry never to be seen again like us except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 blah, blah part we're, we're more like um, ghost investigators specter sleuths sure so what happened next well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. I have exhausted this and myself. I need to sleep. All right, well. Uh, back to the cell. I mean, I don't know how you could peacefully sleep with a damn werewolf next to you, but, but you know, we, we are different people, I guess. I'll walk next to that shit again. Right. He said something about hiding the syringe, right? While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. Okay, hopefully we did everything that we could have done. If not, it's over. And I definitely don't want to reload this long ass chapter. Most of the chapters haven't been this long. We've been looking at 20, 35 minute chapters or so. This is close to that 50 minutes hour uh, mark. <laughs> Caress my face, man. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? All right, we, we got it. We got it. We're trying to butter them up still. I think that was still the plan. We got to soften them up. Definitely, if we do that unfinished, but I don't think, I don't think we're going to go with that one. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Now, if I'd have went to sleep without putting that syringe away, he's checking me, he would have found it. I'm thinking.
happy? Here's some coffee. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up. The eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh... What? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. Okay. Fine, let's end it. Let Max and I go and we'll find someone who can help. Not what I had in mind. You're seriously asking for my help? I don't want you to help me. You're gonna do this for Max, and I'm gonna get what I need. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. Clear to water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first. Silver bullets. When moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your- You gotta kill the one that bit you? Blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. You got the syringe. The syringe, we're, listen, I know y'all probably want me to take the gun, but we're following what was on the card. This is the this is the this is the correct vision right here. Full disclosure. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, 
cleave limb from torso with great haste. Cut the infection. A chance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. Why? Who's the werewolf? Turn or confused? If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I, mean, I, I was... When I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? White wolf. Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Seen enough? When we gonna be able to syringe him in the neck, brothers? I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't... If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. I'm saying you turn into a werewolf, Max. I mean, what do you, what do you mean? Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're gonna fix it on our own. Wait, wait. Hey. Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, cause y'all ain't go to the hotel. That shit crazy. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. Here, I'm looking for 
this all goddamn day. Crick. I know they're in there. Who? The counselor that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. Said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What's that? I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, bro. What was that? Bro, I wasn't ready for QCE. I almost, I had one hand on the control. I was, look, all episode long, I've been reaching and doing shit. You shot me. I'm telling mom. Take your lucky stars wasn't silver. What's your plan? You can't keep them here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You were thinking that? that was all Bobby and Caleb. Are those know. hikers? And that 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 fucking journalist. Damn it, Travis! What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to? We're all in this together. Shh, man. Let's go to my office. I shouldn't talk here. Max. Uh. Max. Ah. Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Woo! I wasn't ready at least. I wasn't ready for that shit. Okay. Hey, look, we, I, gotta, I gotta take a second. I gotta take a breather, bro. You know what I mean? Like it makes sense though, cause he like he's been missing forever. By the way, this is for anybody who has sinus congestion and stuff. These are called. I don't know if y'all can see it on there. Boom boom. Uh, it's, it's you know it's good for your nose. Hey hey. You can lift this and shit. Lord needs help. Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. Uh, what the hell's going on? Uh, Laura? Uh, it is that's the big choice right there path chosen it's the first one that we've seen we seen path updated earlier but path chosen is that's a lot <laughs> starting to think you were really sick 
Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we should go before he wakes yeah. up. <laughs> Look at his feet. <laughs> Look at his feet, bro. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> no, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed this long chapter. I think that's the... And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island, seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. Don't all jump in at the same time. Wait, the island? Like, like our island, like the one in the lake? Yeah, why? Because Jacob, he went back there looking for Emma, and he hasn't come back yet. Neither of them has. Oh, shit. Well, as long as they didn't go poking around where they shouldn't have, they're probably fine. Poking around where he shouldn't have is Jacob's middle name. This is very bad. Oh. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... Expect the max to be normal. Does she kill them? The, 
the music, bro. Max? Max? Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you then? Oh, I'm not showing them no bite. He tried. I was faster. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck. We don't have much time. Smell good, don't I? Go on, take a bite. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Is that the mom? God, let me go! Let me fucking go! Get your hands off me! Money that you want? Cause, cause my dad's got money. Like lots of it. How you? I mean, not really, but you could get some, probably. Please, <laughs> just let me go, please. I'm so sorry. God damn. <laughs> Ass ready for WrestleMania and shit. God damn, get your hands off my motherfucking neck, sir. That's too, Bobby. Is he bit? Hey! Hey! Hey, where you going? Hey! Hey! Does this whole thing 
take place in one night? It's, it's full moon still. I guess so. little rat aren't you poking your nose where it doesn't belong don't believe everything you hear anyway here we are again let's see what you've brought me this time shall we the chariot at the reins of a chariot we would all feel safer Taking control, relying on determination to make our choices. Valiant, but in some cases, foolish. Many seek refuge in chariots, but perhaps in some cases, they're not as safe as we think they are. Ah, the world. <laughs> Often travelers' paths are direct. Sometimes it is not so simple. Sometimes they're intertwined with others. Compassion over anger. You'll need friends where you're going. It's not until we fall into the belly of the beast that we realize how perilous things can be. And the same question as always. Will you let me show you more? Of course. Chariot? or world. Only one future can be seen. Choose. Tell me something good that's gonna help me, please. Now he falls through some shit. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that as long as you follow the right yeah, of course. Of course. How last shot for chapter eight, man. This was a great episode. Stories really picked up a lot. Like the video. See y'all next time. Peace. <laughs>